Hello, I am Melissa Shelton. I am a holistic veterinarian in Howard Lake, Minnesota, and I am the owner and creator of Animalio Essential Oils for Animals. You are the essential oil veterinary queen. Cool. Very cool. And like actually, we talked to you last year at this conference. Yep. Fill me in between last year and this year. Okay. Well, last year was amazing. We um, started our essential oil company for animals, so we get to focus on what's perfect for animals all yeah. the time, and it's just been amazing. And so we're actually, while I'm here, I have a building being built because my kids didn't want to move out. I thought that was kind of odd. I said I need more storage space for oils, but they didn't volunteer. Yeah, so, ah. so, so you're just building an oil shed? Oh, well, an yeah. oil shed, nice. It's a baby, yeah. yeah. It's a really nice building. So it'll be a little over 5,000 square feet. Awesome. And it gets to house our bottling, blending, um, a little bit of a veterinary space for me to do my research with. Nice. And a lot of fun Ex stuff like that. Exciting things. Yeah. Wow. So have you diversified your line? You have more yeah. oils, more blends? Yeah, we almost doubled our line this year. So how many total? Oh gosh, I don't even know if I've added it up. It's got to be over about 45 right now. Wow. So, and I, I always make things for specific cases. So if, uh, you know, I'm getting a lot of questions on Facebook or qu patients with issues of the yeasty feet and yep. stuff. I'm like, okay, you know what? If it was my patient in the hospital, I would have made this blend for it. So now we've been able to awesome. provide those blends directly. In. And if people call you or say, will, will you custom blend or no? I usually, usually won't. There's okay. so much demand yes. for it that I can't possibly okay, do it. 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 And most of our blends now are so customized, you really wouldn't need me to create oh, a custom blend. Because you've already made it. If you said, I have liver problems in my cat, I'm like, oh, liver boost. Yep. So now we have that kind of diversified product line that you don't even need there's to anymore. really not That's too much. Great. And if we do find out a product that we're like, oh yeah, everybody's asking about this and it, I just would tweak this or that or the other thing, we'll make a new product awesome. for it. So yeah, awesome. it's gonna so, be really So you've easy. covered all your bases, really. Yeah. Yeah, and really so fun. have you had any neat cases with your new line? I, to, for me right now, because it's right in the, my immediate thoughts, we are working with an elephant rescue. Aww. So South America had outlawed all of the entertainment elephants. Yes. They needed a place to put them. So fabulous, fabulous people from the states who worked with the elephant rescues in Tennessee and stuff um, have started a Brazilian elephant rescue. Wonderful. Global Elephant Sanctuary, I believe it is. Awesome. And they had contacted me at first because the elephants have a lot, a lot of foot issues. Yes. You know, they're standing on concrete, they're getting foot rot, their little yes. toenails are just awful and they're painful. But they're so sensitive to smells and they're you know so highly intelligent yes and so i said i would love to create some things for you and have you use our line so we had sent them a big care package and it's just so cool right now because they're sending us back pictures of the elephants sniffing some of the new oh, products wow. and they like them yes. which is it's a it's a hurdle for them because yeah, sure. they are so sensitive. sensitive wow and so it's we don't have a lot of you know the the reports back yet of how it's working work, for them because yeah. they're still training them into raising the foot yep. for sprays or different things well that's exciting so exciting and so, so kind of you to participate oh, you know yeah. I, yeah i mean it's just wonderful that you're and they're so unique and they're so they so are just deserving of a good life now after everything they've been through Absolutely. and the traumas they've been. And the, that's the neat thing about oils is in addition to c curing their physical, physical ailments, there is that emotional component. Always the emotional. It's so incredibly holistic. I think that's why they became my passion so much. Yes. You're never just addressing a physical issue. And yeah. even for the owners, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I always have to giggle because somebody, you know, had said, oh, I was putting the kitty boost on my cat and my arthritic hands feel better. Yes. I'm like, well, of course they're going to. Yes. You know, there's a reason why it was good for your cat for arthritis, but yeah, you're going yeah. to get that secondary exposure to it and Wonderful. benefit you. So that's always just like that heartwarming Heart, experience. It is, it like, is. Wow, how Gr neat for them to feel something too. Absolutely, yeah. that's really exciting. So it's always. What do you think your top, what do you think your, when I say best sellers, what are the products that people need the most and they're most sought after yep. allergies or cancer or definitely you know cancer is a big one that people ask about a lot and that's so complicated you yes. need to integrate so many different holistic options with it of course yep and but to me everything helps it mm -hmm. with it mm -hmm. so that's a big one but it's complicated it's yes. never a quick question yep um the calming you know there's tons of anxiety yes. and emotional yes. things and the animals being rescued from the shelter yes so our oils have been really helpful that way we have a lot of shelters now using them we try to you know if i have a label that got put on wonky and it's crooked i'm like oh donate it to a shelter awesome so we try to do a lot of that you know help for them and even if the workers can wear an oil and not even applying it to the animal we're finding that benefit mm -hmm. or if they're having a stressful time i mean it's not always easy to work with the shelters and you know you you're bet. seeing all these animals that need a home or they were relinquished and it's 
hard for everyone involved. It, it is hard. And, yep. and because the number one reason animals get into shelters are behavior problems, yep. do you see oils be beneficial at helping with behavior issues? It does. You know, and I always am reluctant to say, oh yeah, this will fix your behavior problem. Sure. Because you need to do training. Of you course. Need... Behavior modification. Of sure. course. And so I'm always very careful to make sure that they're like, oh, this is not the quick fix. You know, yep. my dog chewed up my couch. I'm going to put right. oils on it right. and he's never going to do it again. Right. Nah. Right. You know, but... Will it relax the whole situation? It makes training, their, their mental acuity is so much more when you're training. Interesting. The owner's calmer, you yeah. know, too. So, I mean, we're getting that, always that branching benefit yep. of, oh, yeah, look, the dog's paying a little more attention. Yeah. Everybody's a little less Focus. stressed. Yep. And we do have a new one coming out, just probably we'll release it right after called Focus. Oh, cool. Because... You know, that's what we needed those dogs to focus. Now, I personally hate the smell of that one. <laughs> you know, I don't care what it smells like. I'm going to use it for my brain. Exactly. Yes. And, that, yes. and, I, and so it's, I'm like, you know, Valerian's not always it, the it, greatest no. smelling. It, I, I correlate it to an old lady's shoe. Yes. I always say it's like dirty, rotten feet. Yes. It's just disgusting. Yep. And there's a, a few versions. There's one that comes out of China, smells like anal glands. Oh. Yeah, that's what... No. Yeah, not so good. Yeah, so I picked the other one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. Which still smells like dirty feet. I'd rather have the dirty feet yes. than the animal glands. Yes. But it does. Oh, that mental acuity and that focus that that can provide. So I always warn people, I'm like, you know, don't wear that as a perfume. Right, exactly. But we do have a few people that do. Well, and, and I'm I like sure it, 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 it could There's be also a repellent, which, right. which could <laughs> be beneficial. Be good. Could be beneficial. But we had a professional dog shower you know, yeah. using it on sure. the, and wow, she was championshipping out all the dogs. That's and, awesome. Yeah. So you can, uh, you can obviously, you can vaporize essential oils. Right. Um, you can the apply them topically. Yeah. What are some of the other ways that you can use oils on animals that maybe people haven't thought of? I think they've almost thought of everything. Okay. There's ways we probably shouldn't that have gotten popular and there's ways that are being overused. So definitely the oral use is a big controversial subject. Yes. There's some that we recommend orally, and there's some that we, you know, it got a little too popular for everybody to be doing putting them it. in orally, mm -hmm. and big capsules full. And so we were burning out GI tracts and doing more damage yep. and more harm than good. Yep. Um, so that way, and then injecting essential oils kind of got a little too popular. People did that? Yeah. Scary. Unfortunately, to their own animals and stuff. And, and Scary. Because I, I said, how would it sound if you said, I'm going to inject apple juice into this tumor? People would think you're nuts. Yes. It's about the same as injecting an essential oil into there. That's concerning. It is. And so there's some hype things that get out there that I really want to try to, you know, bring people into the voice of reality and, you yes. know, no, please don't do that. Yep. You know, it's really not the place. People that can't afford a diffuser. Yeah. Um, still okay? Spray bottle. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Good. We put it in a glass spray bottle with water. Just shake it up. You can mist it. I keep that on the toilet seat in yep. the back of the, you know, yep. bathroom. It's my yep. natural air freshener, safe for the animals. Wonderful. And yeah, and it and it works really well. But so in the shelters, if they can't afford a diffuser, they can mist it onto the doggy beds. Yeah, great you know? idea. Oh yeah, great you have this idea. Big yep. diffuser of a couch or yeah. something like yeah, that. Yeah, great. And uh, onto the dog toys. Yeah. Well, you know? this is a great catch up. Yeah. Fun to hear all that you've done this very last year. Fun. We'll be looking forward to checking in next year. Yeah. Yeah. And so thanks for spending a few minutes with us. Thank you very much.